Welcome back. Had a good time rubbing elbows with the beautiful people. They're not my type. So, what did you want to talk about? Straight to the point. I like that about you. So, how's about a little partnership? Thanks. I always thought about how I'd run this place. To start, I'm gonna need this office for myself. <laughs> you misunderstand me, friend. As the owner of a respected establishment, I have an interest in keeping the streets safe. You could help. You mean, take out competition? Uh, I'm not in the crime business anymore. So if I came across any unusual gear, I'd be obliged to turn it over. Upstanding citizen that I am. Uh, I'm only doing this because I'm already going after those criminals. Well, that's the spirit. on the server. Acknowledged. Of course, it's creepy and glowing. I'm sure this is up to code. Hello. I'm selling Owl Scout cookies. I'm in, Belfry. Some kind of court hideout. Doesn't look like anyone's here. Strange location for it. Any indication of what they were doing there? I'll look around and let you know. somewhere. Belfry, do you remember a murder case? Victim was someone named Moreno. Of course. The brother of Elena Moreno, a local judge. She took a leave of absence from the bench directly afterward for family reasons. It looks like the Court of Owls ordered the hit. Let me see what else I can find out. Belfry, I got it. The court ordered a hit at the Chelsea Tunnel. Construction on the tunnel was shut down when the site was declared unsafe. This reeks of a cover-up. The Court of Owls is hiding something down there. Going over now. Take care, and keep us updated.
Belfry? Looks like the workers found a huge pit, then stopped. I'll probably be out of comms range down there. Track me if you can, and I'll check in when I get a signal. I'm heading down. Be ready for anything. This place is huge. What the hell are they mining? Many of you are there.
bending a lot of scratch to get at whatever's in the rocks down here. they were after has already been extracted. Extraction room. There we go. What? Nobody wants to do science with me? I guess I'll just have to grab a sample for myself. Maybe I can figure out what they were after if I examine these samples. This stuff is called Dionysium. I guess we can run tests back at the Belfry. Now, how do I get back there? Take it out of here. understand your place. We earned our help. We shaped Gotham into the great city she is today. We are the protectors, not you. You're just bats. And I'll devour bats.
Yeah. I'm not sticking around here. Locked, of course. Stupid cave-in. Where the hell am I? Ha! That had better be a way out. Belfry, can you read me? We seem to have you back, Red Hood. Are you all right? Everything's fine. The court's mining some weird shit called Dionysium. It sure reminds me of... Belfry, you cut out. Come in. Damn it. Lost the signal. I have to admit, I was surprised Mr. Cobblepot agreed to help. Me too. I've rarely seen him this scared. We're way overdue for a rematch, Mr. Todd. Whoa. You got the Horror Classics expansion pack. How could I turn down scares and beats? <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> New challenger! Next level, Pit of Despair! Get ready! Whoa. <laughs> I do believe we have a guest. More like a pest. That damn thing never shuts up. It wouldn't be the first cat to find its way past the bat's walls. Got eyes on the little freeloader? Not yet, but I suspect if we start leaving food out for him, we may find ourselves with a new addition to the Bat family. I'll ask one of the others to swing by the pet store after their next patrol. A cat in the belfry. Guess it's not the worst thing. The Court of Owls is watching. From inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow. And they rule you. One and all. You knew we'd find the court. You were just waiting for us to stick our necks out. When I was still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining something called Dionysium. And it smells like Lazarus pit water to me. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. 
For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. Hmm. So they're using Dionysium to make talons, then. What do you know? Huh. So why doesn't the League make a deal? Trade the court some green goo in exchange for mindless talon ninjas. <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. And the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus Pits. <laughs> you turned a chemical reaction into some kind of bullshit holy ritual. Oh, those are some harsh words. That ceremony resurrected you, Jason. I knew it was you, Talia. That pit scrambled my mind, but I'm still a damn good detective. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. After all the shit you've done to me, I don't owe you anything. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. Cut the talking and riddles bullshit. You want us to get rid of the voice so the League will leave Gotham alone. What's in it for you, though, hmm? I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. Now I know how Montoya feels. Hey, Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Hmm. Hmm. Give this a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions. But free will's as good as gone. So what is a Talon exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie? Sounds like Jason, all right. I recognize a voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if- We match what we have against the live voices. Fun. But how do we find these jackasses? Two words. Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade. The event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich dress up and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. With so many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. There's new stuff on the board. Looks like the court. 
Court grabbed Hendrix. Officers, we have reports of suspicious behavior. With luck, that's Hendrix. We need officers near the Gotham Naval Research Facility. I had a feeling this day was coming. You wouldn't believe the things that I heard at the hotel. Probably why the court wanted you silenced. Shit, they're real? That explains the masks. Look, one of my guys was feeding them info. You know what? You should probably have all the same intel, too. Thanks for the drive. We'll take care of it from here. This city is going to the birds, I swear. Belfry. I dealt with the court. Got a data drive for the trouble. Excellent. Please return to the Belfry so we can evaluate next steps. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Ra's is... was a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. 
that suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. And that is until he showed up. Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the Court was using an extract from the Pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And, without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss him. Hand me that coolant. Did it hurt, Jason? <laughs> when I fell from heaven? <laughs> when you came back to life, did the Lazarus Pit hurt? It changed me. Lazarus isn't going to bring Bruce back, Tim. Who's to say he doesn't want us to try? I... <sighs> okay. Bruce isn't this bike. You can't just change everything out and expect things to work like they did. Then what am I supposed to do? Try grieving. Don't let him move! Don't let him move! 
should have seen this coming. Guess you probably know what you're Guess that's that. Huh. I do. Still not quite enough clay to test. I could use more clay, just to be sure. I need more for a proper sample, but I could make a nice bowl. I think that's finally enough clay. Belfry, I'm coming home with pockets full of samples. Great. We'll see what that clay has to say when you're back. So, where's Batman? He owes me a coffee. He's... 
not with us anymore. Well, damn. Sorry. He really helped Mum and I out a lot. How is your mother, by the way? I can't believe I never got the chance to meet her. She's fine, enjoying retirement, watches medical dramas to nitpick them. But there's still a shit ton of work to do here. For both of us. Can't say it's boring, though. You've been helping people in Gotham, and that's great. So keep it up. Come visit me once in a while, and I'll pass on anything helpful I might find. Besides, Mum will send both of us to the ER if I don't keep an eye on your health. When you say it like that, how can I say no? Don't sneak up on a note. About time you showed up. Hi, I'm Robin. And you are? If I don't need to know your real name, you don't need to know mine. I got grandkids to think about. You can just call me... Madame Palomares. Nice to meet you, Madame Palomares. In your message, you said you had information you wanted to share with me? I do. What I'm about to tell you is highly mm. confidential. There's a group of us. People who want to see real change in Gotham. We call ourselves... The Watch. You have your own spy ring? That's awesome. I started the group years ago when I got fed up with all the bad apples in this town. <laughs> that sounds familiar. I reached out to Batman for help. He wasn't too sure about us at first. But I showed him that having eyes on the ground could be useful. So we started giving him tips. To help him keep our neighborhood safe. He told me that if he ever went quiet for this long, that I should reach out to you. I know I'm not Batman, but I'm glad you decided to trust me with this. I'll do my best to keep your neighborhood safe. I'll spread the word to the other members of the Watch. He is missed. But the entire Watch has your back. We can do this. Together. I don't understand. Clayface fell in a turbine when he last fought Batman. How is he still alive? I'm not sure. He was torn to shreds. And yet, here we are. Just getting blended like a smoothie wasn't enough for him. So, what did we learn about our new friend? Well, I've studied Clayface's DNA before, and this is unlike anything I've ever seen. The structure is constantly changing. It's it's like it can't reassemble itself. We're talking damaged nucleotides. Unstable phosphate groupings and synthesis abnormalities. I mean, abnormal even for Clayface. This sample seems especially disorganized, like, like it's trying to be five things at once. Oh, maybe it's because these pieces of him on their own aren't enough for him to stabilize into a singular conscious entity. <clears throat> you guys are doing your nerd thing again. Sorry. Clayface might be in too many places at once, and he's having trouble being anything because of it. But the more that Clayface comes together, the stronger and smarter he gets. We definitely do not want that. But what if he's already conscious? I mean, we can't just leave him like this. Putting him back together could endanger the whole city. We can't take that chance. Either way, it doesn't do us any good if we don't know where he is. The reservoir is connected to the city's aqueduct system. He could be anywhere. There are probably still bits of him in the water, too. It's nice knowing you, Jason. <laughs> He'll be fine. Probably. I'll scan the city for the Clay's unique signature. I'll let you all know if I find something. Yeah, have fun with that.
So Alfred tells me you've been working hard on your bat gadgets. Well, they're more like red gadgets. Like bat gadgets, but with an extra kick. But you know you're going to run into supply issues eventually, right? Yeah. I could tell you I'd plan for that, but then I'd be lying. Tell you what. You keep busy with your superhero business, and I'll keep you supplied with components. You good with that? Whatever you say, Fox. Check that out. Stay out of my way, vigilante. You're on your own God, if you're uh, checking it out. So you're Red Hood. Let's see what you got. You're gonna love this. Get up! Nap time, friend. Got a vigilante over here. Ready Aren't you the smart one? <laughs> Don't let him grab you. <laughs> You're getting burned, you lousy cave. Check this out!
got something here. track. Pissed them off.
Nice workout. Be so nice next time. Crap! This ain't on! We're getting done in! it.
got me. Got a boot. Uh. I'm at the Orchard Hotel. The balcony door should be open. That's your entry point. A penthouse with a balcony? You spoil me, Belfry. Hands off the minibar. Our days of unlimited budgets are behind us. Belfry, I'm in. The court sure found themselves a swanky hangout. Remember to find a safe place to eavesdrop in the ballroom. If security sees you, you're toast. So does mine. Stop that. I don't want to hear you scratch. Because my grandmother has a heart of one. No, I don't care what happened to you. You promised me a heart. I have to attend this banquet, but when I'm done, you and I are gonna have a chat with some of my associates. This must be the entrance. Why else would they put this here? Again with this stupid theory? You saw the elevator. The hotel doesn't have a 13th floor. I'll just leave them be. <laughs> we'll impress the voice tonight. I'm sure of it. Belfry, I knocked out the cameras and the guards' comms. Good job. The guards outside the control room were planted there by the courts, so you can punch with impunity.
Show yourself and take your punishment. another. Pillars of Gotham, may I please have your attention? It is my absolute pleasure to present our host for the evening. Seriously? If that's the voice, he's not even trying to hide it. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. for the voice of the court. Well done. Now stay on him. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll take off his mask. Ha. Sir, the labs are requesting more Dionysium to meet their production deadline. I'm aware. Arrangements are being made. Let them know that I expect the quota to be met. No excuses. Thank you, sir.
Are the arrangements made? If it pleases the court. Excellent. I'll see you downstairs. got in a secret elevator, then dropped off the radar. I lost him, too. He was between floors when the signal went out. Red Hood, we just found a hidden 13th floor in the hotel blueprints. Maybe that's where the voice went. Next up, 13th floor. Rich weirdo VIP room. Belfry, I'm on the 13th, and I found one of those Court of Owls doors. Understood. Tread carefully. wants to play hide and seek. Great. Belfry, you got any tips to find the voice? Belfry, you there? Damn it, cut off again. I should see what that was. Look alive, we have company to deal with. for that meeting. Let's see what they were looking at. Found to be moonlighting for cockroaches. We eliminated him. 
Shit. So the court really did off Langstrom. This recording could be just what we need to bring them down for good. But there's still plenty to clean. Destroy everything. Make it so Langstrom never exists. That's a lot of names. Hold on. All these people are either missing or dead. Kirk Langstrom is on here. Is this a hit list? Loyal to the court. Gotham's architecture. Was the court involved in construction, too? Final right to your eardrums. It's the old voice of the court. Are you gonna show yourself or what? Go to the painting. Someone had to stop you from destroying Gotham. Destroy Gotham? Now we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. Oh. Power and glory. Hmm. Never had that offer from a weirdo in a mask. The only one hiding behind a mask. Is you, Mr. Todd. Jacob Kane? How? How do you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quieter about it. The people of Gotham will find out you've been playing with their lives. They're not your toys. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends, the same enemies, it's madness. You're not serving us. I stopped killing people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. You say you protect Gotham. 
but you're racking up a body count. Kirk Langstrom, his assistant... Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce gave everything to save this city. You fight for yourselves. He would never have supported this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. I am nothing like you, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. Clearly, I have bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. Gotta get back to the ballroom ASAP. Just crashing the party. Understood. Paramedics have been called. God damn it! These people don't stand a chance against the League! Time to take care of these jerks. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, that 
to enter the hotel, I'd suggest a quick exit. The slaughter of some of our best and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back! Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe. Isabella Haas. Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the league. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old Lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. <laughs> no one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. Then let's be ready when we're caught in between them. 